Hello everyone, Dr. Todd here. Please overlook the neck brace. I'm recovering from a broken neck I suffered in an automobile accident, but uh, I'm doing okay. I'll be I'll be just fine. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how you can be more productive in your reading. One of the problems we have often as, as researchers or as students is that we have trouble getting our books on time, for instance. We have trouble capturing information. And so I wanted to use this, this video to speak a little bit about uh, something I've learned along the way. I'll be using a Mac. You can use it on any system, Linux, Windows, Mac, uh, anything like that you want. But it solves many problems. Now, for this, for this tutorial, I want to show you how to implement both Kindle and whatever note-taking app you're using uh, to help you with this. One of the problems I get semester after semester with my students is their books are delayed, that kind of thing. So therefore, I would argue the best thing to do is to order most of the books, if you can, on a Kindle because they're immediately available to you. And the way, the why, how that works or how that's important is you don't have to have an actual Kindle you can get on the App Store and uh, download the Kindle app for free for your Mac if that's what you're using. They have one for PCs also. The other thing, uh, whatever note-taking setup you've got going, I want to show you one of the ways that I've done this. So let's, let's go to the screen and take a look. Now, here you'll see that I've got um, my Kindle stuff over here. And then over here, I've got my Notes app. I'm just using Apple Notes for this example. I'm starting to read a book called Fire in the Streets, and it's right here. So if you double click on it, it opens up. So what I can do is I can highlight things, right? See? Let me erase that. And I can take notes. This is a note. Now something with Apple Notes which is so good is that it simply will allow you to search really well. I usually break my stuff down and I'll, I'll, I can do another video if you want me to later on how I do this but uh, here's something for preface and introduction then I do each chapter then I just search on those notes but the, the bottom line is right here on my screen to the left I have I have what I need as far as my book goes. To the right, I've got my notes. And there's no room taken up as far as having to carry a bunch of books around, those kind of things. So I hope that this is helpful to you. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments section. If you have another way of doing it that works for you, that makes you efficient and productive, uh, put that in the comments section too. I want and That will help other viewers of the video learn how to do things. As always, if you like the work I'm doing here, please hit subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell. God bless. Talk to you soon.